Hi, stamping friends. Thank you for joining me. My name is Lori Heiling, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm always happy to welcome you on my channel so I can share projects with you. Well, um, this has been a hard week for me. I'm so grateful to my stamping friends and my friends that aren't stampers and my family, especially this week. Um, if you are Facebook friends with me on my personal page, you probably know that my Aunt Nani passed away this week and oh, my heart has just been hurting. And so it, this is like a, a pseudo smile. I'm not smiling be <laughs> behind this mouth because I'm very sad inside. But um, this is what happened and I'll try to make this um, brief, but I just wanted to tell you why I couldn't do my video last week. So. Um, we got a call that my aunt was not doing well and she was in the hospital and so I dropped what I was doing and um, got in the car, picked up my mom and we drove three hours away to go see her. And um, we got to see her. She was just being transferred to her home from the hospital because they put her in hospice. There really was nothing that they could do. And by the way, this was not COVID related, which is a good thing. Her kidneys were just failing her. So we got there and we got to visit with her. And I'm not going to lie. She, you could tell she was in a rough place, but you know, she could see us and, and hear us. And um, we talked to her for, gosh, probably two hours. And I got her to giggle a couple of times. So it was just a real special time. And um, I think the reason that um, it's hit me so hard is that um, she was, she's kind of like an extension of my mom. So it's just like, she's really um, kind of like a second mom to me. But anyway, so we visited and then um, we left, I don't know, into the evening. And after we left, probably three hours later, she drifted into a coma and she just never came back out. So my word of advice is go with your gut because I know we're like, oh, with COVID, will they let us in the hospital? Because we thought she was going to be there. And we went back and forth like, what do we do? And I said, let's just go. They can only tell us, no, you can't see her. So I'm so thankful that we went. And then um, the next morning at six in the morning is when she passed away at home. So it's just been a hard few days. But um, the good thing is I have my little craft room where I can find my happy place and um, work on projects. And it's just really helped to keep my mind off of it. Um, my Nani was a card maker as well. She bought a lot of supplies for me and um, was always inspired. I know every Christmas um, when she was here, she'd always want to look through my box of projects that I made. And so we just had a special bond in that way too. So, um, so let's get off that subject and make something fun today. Um, if you're on Facebook, on any of my Facebook pages, you'll see that I did launch my um, my class to go a day early. Normally, I wait for my Facebook or my YouTube live to tell you about it. But when I looked in the inventory report, it is low in inventory. So I said, oh boy, I got to publish this right away because if you need the stamp set and dies, um, you need to order that soon because I have a feeling that's going to run out. And um, so I'm going to share with you that um, class to go and then I will get to the project and the project that we're going to be making today actually uses um, a lot of the supplies that will be in the class but this class or this project I'm showing you is just for free this isn't a class or <laughs> this isn't a project in the class but it's just to help inspire you um, so that if you get the bundle you know it's another idea for you to use so let me turn the camera around and get going on this let me share with you, first of all, the bundle that I will be using in the class to go. It's called Pretty Perennials, and this was probably my favorite flower stamp in the mini catalog. Um, you get all these groups of um, stamps here. There's so many combinations, and then look at all these dies that are in here. There's 23 dies, so this really is a great value for your money um, with the class. Um, you know, I bunch them together and it's discounted and I discounted it even a little bit more. So you'll have to check out the pricing on this. But I'm um, really excited about this class. And here's our little sneak peek of the projects that you'll get in here. Now, um, we are going to be making five make and takes. One of these is a 3D item for a little treat. And then the rest is... Um, cards. So you'll be making four cards in a treat. You can see Ghirardelli in there. However, I will not be including the Ghirardelli because it will be chocolate soup if I mail it because we're already in the 80s here in Arizona. So just wanted to let you know that um, don't look for melted chocolate in with your class. All right, here's the pricing structure. I have two options this time. 
The first option includes that Pretty Perennials bundle. You'll get the stamp set and the dies. You will get True Love Designer Series paper, and this paper is the one that is mostly black and white, and it has um, kind of a floral side on one side, and then um, it's more of a contemporary print on the other. I'm quick paging through my catalog here so I can show you the picture. I can't even show you the real thing because I am down to the, the bare... Um, minimums of what's left but here's that pretty paper isn't that nice there's so many different ways you can go with that so that is the paper pack that you'll get you will get a full pack and there's 12 by 12 sheets in there you'll also get these black matte dots oh I guess I have the picture here but you can see it a little bit better in the catalog then you'll also get daffodil delight stampin blends and you know, if you already own these or you don't need them, I mean, I replace mine because I use mine all the time. They do last long, but I seem to like use one end down more than the other. So I don't throw it away, but what I do is I, uh, let me find one that has one end gone. So I tape it with um, like packing tape because you don't want to throw a marker away if one end still works. So this way I don't have to keep taking the cap off trying to remember. So it still works, but um, just tape off one end. But anyway, um, I always think, you know, if you're going to use a color a lot, why not just get an extra pair, especially if you're doing classes or something like that. And then you'll also get foam adhesive. And it's hard to see in this little preview, but a lot of these projects are really going to pop. They're going to pop even more than normal because we're using double the thickness of regular dimensionals. That's how thick the um, foam dimensionals are. Plus, you will get five make and takes. And so that's what option A is. The products will be shipped from Stampin' Up, but I will personally ship the five make and takes. They will come in the post office, but I do have tracking with that. And then you'll also get the PDF instructions emailed to you. Now, option B, we're just going to take out the bundle. Maybe you already own that. Um, so we'll just take that out, and then you get all the other items that I just mentioned there. And then the five make and takes and the PDF instructions emailed. Now, the, reserv or the RSVP deadline is April 30th, and I will be um, mailing and getting these ready the first week of May. So that's kind of the timeline. So I just hope that you'll consider doing this class. And again, if you want to substitute products, you just need to let me know that and I can easily do that. It just has to um, equal that value. So um, you can look up the Pretty Perennials bundle. Maybe you want a different bundle, but you still want in on the good deal. So I can work with you on that. All right, and then um, if you see anything you like today and just wanna order, my host code for this month is right up here. And I would appreciate if you use that. And just a really, really quick plug for my In Color Club. Time is winding down for this. It's May 1st is the deadline. And so um, if you go to my blog or my Facebook pages, you will see all the details on this. I won't read through them all again. But this is a great way to get every single color and many of the products, especially the basics, the paper, ink pad, refill, markers. And um, it'll save you some money by doing it a little bit at a time. So um, make sure you check that out because, like I said, the deadline is coming up on that. All right, let's get to today's project. Um, I am going to, oh, I have so many things around here. I used a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm going to start with the basics. Now, this is not going to be an idea that you say, oh, wow, cool. I haven't seen this idea before because if you've been stamping long, I know you've seen it. But what I did was I just took a flat bag. I used white and... You can, I'm sure, buy these online. I can't even remember. I bought them so long ago and they've been on the shelf and not used. So I thought it's time to use this. The last one I made was for Dan for Father's Day. Oh, I should have left that together to show you my old school one. Maybe I can do that. I'll, oh, shoot. I think I said it somewhere not in reach, but um, that would be that would have been fun to show you. So what I did for starters is, let me grab a ruler because you're going to want dimensions. Um, the bag is actually, oh gosh, six, let's see, from the top to the bottom, it is six, eight inches by five. So if you just Google eight by five, that's where you get them. You can get them probably in all colors. I, um, I got craft colored, which is tan and white. And what I did was I took the top of it off because I just had to make it um, a little more updated and using our products. Now, isn't that a darling scallop there's even stitched in there and the um scallops die that you'll find it in is a new product called the scalloped contours dies look at how beautiful these are oh my gosh we don't have stitch rectangles 
Oh wait, we have stitched rectangles. We don't have regular rectangles, which has all the scallops in. So this is the set that you're gonna wanna get to replace this because um, some of them are stitched, some of them are um, just scallops with holes in. There's every combination, but this is the magic one that um, I used for the top of that. And the placement of it was, um, I just set it right up about like that and just ran it through, okay? Then the next thing I did was I took this and I wanted this to be able to fit in an envelope, but when it's over with, it's not gonna fit in one because I stuffed it so full that you won't be able to. But I wanted to in case I didn't put too much in, like maybe just a gift card. But I hit it at four and a quarter and I made a score line. So just take your score tool and score it at four and a quarter from the bottom. All right, let's set that up aside. So I'm just gonna fold on that score line and that's gonna be the front of our little package. And um, maybe I'll, I won't even tell you what it's gonna look like in the end in case you haven't seen one of these before. So let's just set this aside and now let's work on decorating it. So I took basic black and let me get my ruler again because I know you like measurements. So this one is four and an eighth by four and seven eighths. You know me, I like crazy measurements. I'm like OCD about measurements and stuff. So I want it to fit tight and um, uniform. <laughs> And then this is the True Love Designer Series paper, which you're gonna get this beautiful paper in with your kit if you get this class. And I chose the floral side for this and I just cut it 1 8 inch smaller than this. Whoops, let's go with the, nope, this is the one. I thought, oh, it doesn't match, but that's all right, that's on purpose. Okay, so this is four and three fourths by two and a fourth. And I think we're just gonna use green glue for this. So we will put this on the back of here, like I said, I want the floral to um, be shown here and we'll just make a tiny, tiny little border there. And it's okay that it doesn't go down all the way. All right, now the next one we're gonna do is, set that aside, another basic black and this one is two and a half by four and seven eighths. This one is two and three eighths by four and three fourths again. And we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we want stripes on the front. So we're gonna adhere the floral season, see uh, the floral design down. And we want about the same border there. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to adhere this to the front of our little pouch here. This is gonna be a little gift pouch. So I just wanted to double check to make sure my measurements were good. So let's just add a mono adhesive glue to the front and like this. And just try to line up so you have the same amount of border on all three of these sides, okay? Now, let's start decorating the front of this. Now I did save a little time um, because I did not want to have my my die cutting machine here, it just takes too long. But all I did was I stamped in these colors in basic white ink, and you're gonna die when I show you this um, combination here. So I have Magenta Madness, Granny Apple Green, Coastal Cabana, and Daffodil Delight. Now, this is not on purpose, but look at this, look at my nails. Do you think I like these colors? <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at, I think the only thing I don't have in there is granny apple green. Maybe I'll have to go back to my nail gal and have her add that. That's crazy. That just shows you, um, you know, if you have a color combo you like, this is really one of my favorite color combos. I could just sit and admire these. I wish I could show you my craft room. You probably see it when I do my beginning and I'm talking, you can see one of my walls is in between Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start decorating the front of this. This is a nice, background with black because black goes with everything. And I have not done this in advance, so I'm <laughs> hoping it turns out. But let's start by um, putting a dimensional behind the largest one. And I'm only gonna put one in the center because I don't know how I'm gonna layer it yet. <laughs> so I'm giving you all my secrets. I don't know yet. All right, let's put that up in that corner. And then I think, yeah, I cut out this one. I really like the skinny line that coordinates with um, the flower. Now, do not drive yourself nuts by trying to match up these petals because there is not a good match. You could go bonkers trying to say, well, which petal matches which one? It really doesn't matter. I know for an 
being an OCD person, that probably doesn't make sense, but it really, really does not matter. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna take the Coastal Cabana one and um, we are just gonna put that one flat. So I'll just put some glue in the back and I only wanna put it in the middle in case I wanna tuck flowers behind it, you know, then it, I can still tuck them without it all being glued. You don't have to go crazy on glue, by the way. I just put it mostly in the centers. And then I did another one. There's a smaller one that will match this and I'm just gonna put one in the center there. And that's what I mean about, see how I can still layer it even though it's down? because I didn't glue all those edges down. And I, I kind of like how it pops up a little bit. So you might want to bend them, make it a little bit 3D-ish. We'll let that dry before I pull the sides up of that. All right, now let's add, um, uh, let's add the little flowers. And I need my tiny dimensionals for this one. Put one in the center. And this one is the um, Magenta Madness. Let's go up there and then let's do one more down here. How do you guys like Magenta Madness? I thought when it first came out, I hate to say this, but it reminded me of Office Max copy paper, like a garage sale sign. Not saying it was tacky like a garage sale sign, but just that the color reminded me of those flyers, but I really, really like it. I seem to grab that for my pinks now. Now we're just gonna use liquid glue and we need to add a couple pull this up closer a couple leaves here and it's okay if it goes off the page a little bit and these are stamped in granny apple green and there's dies for all these I did not have to fussy cut any of this so I'll go like that and then we'll put one more down here just to fill in a little bit of that black and white space here just basically we're just adding color to this now I like that. Okay, the last, not the last thing, we still have a ways. Um, the, another thing we're gonna do is put matte black dots on here. And these are gonna be included with your, um, here's a full sheet, I wanna make sure I get the larger ones. There's two sizes, so I want the larger dot in the middle of this one. And then the smaller one in the middle of this one. I don't know, should we add them to all of them or just on those two? What do you think? I think we'll add them. We have so many of them here. It ties in the black too. All right. And then I don't know that I've ever done a demonstration online without actually stamping because you can see that I did this all before. So I'm going to stamp for you. <laughs> I took this cute little die that is in, um, what's the name of it? Tasteful Labels. Let me show you all the ones in here. But so far, this is the one. Oh, I use this one too. But this is the one I always grab for. But this is a nice old die set. Um, so this is the one. It's just a nice size. Actually, because we, we got rid of all of our punches about that side, this is going to be your replacement for that. That one is in the current catalog called Tasteful Labels Dies. All right, so I'm going to stamp this in Memento Black. Uh, oh, here it is, right in front of my nose. And then I'm gonna do the one that says for you. Stamp that says that, and I'm gonna hike it to the right. Hopefully, yeah, I stamp pretty straight. Then what I'm gonna do is just cut off the edge here. Just cut it straight up like that. And toss that away. Remember, I'm not throwing my scraps on the floor. My friend Pat, she said, Lori, where are you putting those scraps? <laughs> they are not going on the floor. They are in the trash bag right by me. Okay, let's add a couple of dimensionals. Um, this is Memento, or I'm sorry, Magenta Madness cardstock. And we're gonna put this on right here. Just needs a little something on that right side. Like that. Now, let me put this in here so I can show you what it's gonna look like. This is gonna go in here like this, but have no fear, it is not done yet. We still have to stuff it, but 
The next thing we're going to do is take Magenta Madness ribbon. This is, let me read what it is, 2020 to 2022. This is an in-color ribbon, which all of us demonstrators thought this was going to carry over, and it is not. So if you like these in-colors, because these in-colors are going to be around for another year, and Magenta Madness is one of them. This is a one-fourth inch, um, just kind of like a, uh, what is it like? Um, kind of a twill, I guess. I don't know. I don't know my fabrics, but um, it's just a really nice um, ribbon. So now we're going to tie this and I always go right over, right over left. And then I kind of try to hold that down and then go to the back. I go to the back, but remember I'm a lefty, so it might be backwards for you. And then just pull these the length that you want. Doesn't matter where the, the bow turns out now because we can adjust that. And then let me get my paper snips and trim this down a little bit. Um, and so far, I think the ribbon is still available. So, all right, I think we need to hike this. Well, first of all, we need to get it on the seam of this and have it the same. And then I want to, how you move it is you just kind of bend your project or your card and hike it over. Maybe we should put it on that side. I don't know. I like it. I always like it opposite the, the words. And this needs to go down a little bit farther. Maybe you can't see what I'm doing here. Whoops. It went underneath my black piece. There we go. All right, so just make sure it's straight. That's the main thing. Okay, this is the finished project. It looks best, actually, when there's nothing in it. Um, <laughs> because you can see the flowers. So I guess you could give an empty um, an empty card just because it looks prettier. But once I fill it, you're not going to see this as much. But you can be very selective in what you put in here. And I'm just going to throw a whole bunch of different ideas. I have a little stash of things that would work, okay? So um, the first thing is this is going to be part of my daughter's um, birthday present. So I hope she's not watching. If she is, I'll just have to say, just kidding, I'm gonna make you something else. But I like to put photos and things, and now look at this. You have two pockets. One is back here from where you folded it in half. The other one is just the two um, layers of the bag. You see that? So well, there's one pouch here and then another pouch there, which is really cool. All right, so I would maybe put this in like that just to show that it's for her. And then, um, before I fill it, I want to show you one more thing. If you put a gift card in there, this would be an awesome place for the gift card and just tape it on there because once it's in here, you still won't see it. It'll be, you know, tucked under there still, so it still looks good from the front. Or, oh no, you might want to tape this down, but, you know, you're not going to be fiddling it with it as much as I am, but I'm just showing you all these ideas. All right, so the gift card got stuck in there. So that's one idea. So let's pretend like... Um, maybe you want to give two gift cards. You could put one in there. But what I would do is stuff, make it, make um, gifts personal. I think pictures are awesome. Then you, of course, need to put chocolate in. But again, don't mail it if you live in Arizona like that. Um, I found this to my daughter. I love you. It's just like a little poem thing. That's another thing that you could add in here. And just remember that there's two pouch layers. So you could do that. I have even more chocolates. Maybe you want an M&M thing, you know, and now you can see why it's really not going to fit in an envelope. But this is a gift in itself. And more chocolate. You can see what's on my mind. So anyway, another thing that you could do is like, say you want to give tickets, like movie theater tickets or a baseball game ticket. You could have those sticking up. That's what I did for Father's Day. We went to California and went sailing. So I pre-purchased a sailing excursion and I had that sticking out and I put a picture of Dan and Brady in there and I think I put some money in there so it's just just get creative with what you want to do but um, that's my project for you this would also make a great Mother's Day gift and you can personalize it so anyway I hope you got some inspiration from this and reminder don't forget to sign up for my pretty perennials class to go this is a project that is easy to make um, once you have this bundle here so all right well well, thank you so much for joining me and I will be back on Friday morning with another project. Take care guys. Bye-bye.